Thank you. You're, you're going to end up getting signed up. <laughs> 16 years old, and I voted yes, and I do it a hundred times over. You won't have a name when you ride the big airplane. All they will call you will be deportee. I'm Iona Fife and I invite you all to take part on the Chain of Freedom event taking place on October 14th across the under fourth Clyde Canal. Show your support for Scottish independence. Scottish CND supports the chain of freedom. But I've got a particular interest which is in nuclear disarmament and uh, it's all part of how we look forward to what kind of Scotland we want to have when it's independent. Because Scottish CND as an organisation we're in support of Scottish independence because so many of the reports that we've produced have indicated that through Scottish independence that is the easiest and fastest way for the UK to be rid of nuclear weapons. I represent uh, an organisation called Nuclear Free Local Authorities in Scotland and I've travelled to Europe this year to present the case for all local authorities and all organisations to ask their pension funds not to invest in anything that is nuclear power or nuclear weapons. Two obvious pathways to uh, removing uh, Trident from the Clyde. The first is that the UK government determines to do so. Uh, now they've shown no indication, I don't think that's a realistic prospect. So uh, the obvious pathway to do so is by becoming a, an independent uh, nation state. And indeed, you know, this was one of the reasons I joined the SNP. Scottish CND supports the chain of freedom. Our country is the site of the United Kingdom's nuclear weapons. We look forward to joining hands with others across the world to free the world of nuclear weapons and all nuclear threat. On the 9th of November 1989, I was in Amsterdam. I heard on the radio news that the border gates in the Berlin Wall had been opened and that floods of West Berliners were travelling freely into East Berlin and that torrents of East Berliners were streaming into West Berlin. This film was taken by Manfred Kralenberg. You can view the whole of it on Wikipedia. It shows ordinary folk finally winning a battle for freedom. It is our world. Scotland is our country. On the 14th of October 2023 there is an opportunity for you to take part in an historic event. The Chain of Freedom. After the Second World War, the USSR, the United Soviet Socialist Republic, led by Joseph Stalin, divided Europe with what was called by Winston Churchill an Iron Curtain. In 1961 the Berlin Wall was constructed, a physical manifestation of the divide East and West. The western part of Europe, through a series of treaties, 1948 Brussels, 1951 Paris, 1958 Rome, built into the 1987 Single European Act, a united Europe. The discontent in the USSR finally led to masses of ordinary people demonstrating for something better. At about 22.45 on 9th November 1989, Harold Jaeger, commander of the Holmberger Strasse border crossing, yielded, allowing guards to open the checkpoints and letting people through with little or no identity checking. This is a picture by a man called George Lewis. 
It's a part of the Berlin Wall known as the Death Strip. It was taken in 1977. I took this photograph of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin in 1981. You can clearly see the wall in front of it. Watch Stephen Flynn, the SNP leader in Westminster, talking to people in Kilmarnock. Understand from what he says that it is you and I who have the power to change things. Like those who marched and pulled down the Berlin Wall to be free of the USSR, we Scots can gain our freedom from the United Kingdom. I'm only standing here um, because of the folk who come and chat across with me, who leave work for me, who put survey cards out for me, who go and speak to the purpose for me, who stand on stalls, who speak for their neighbours, who make that positive case for the SNP and positive case for, for independence. Uh, we often talk in the party, um, and actually it annoys me a little bit about standing on the shoulders of giants and pick out politicians. The politicians are the giants in the SNP, it's not the activists, it's the members that are the giants, because they're the ones who get their time. Their spare time is get folk like me elected and to ensure that they're relevant in the political discussion. It's the activists that got us into government, it's the activists that win our seats at Westminster, it's the activists who will deliver uh, our independence. So my message is, is pretty unequivocal. Do what you can. An hour, two hours a week, and there's leaflets that people are allowed to ask for, and there's ghosts to be chatting and confident enough to do it. Go and chat with those You're the ones who can take the message to the public and change people's minds. Without you, we ain't here. Without you, you're that. You are the ones who will deliver change, and we'll just try and do our best by you whenever we can. Hamza has been clear that he will be not just the first minister, but the first activist in the SNP. And he's certainly worked up to that in his tenure as leader. And when we go into that general election, I hope that each and every one of you will stand shoulder to shoulder with us. Caledonia, Caledonia, sing along with me. Caledonia, Caledonia, chain of freedom set us free. Um, we're going to do a chain of freedom. It's along the Fourth Clyde Canal, 14th of October. Yes, and I would encourage absolutely anyone who is a supporter of Scottish independence to try and get along. I wish I was going to make it myself. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be up in Aberdeen for uh, the SNP's party conference. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't quite get out of that. Um, but I know there's a lot of folk who are fully behind the, the chain of freedom. I've been travelling right across Scotland, speaking to, to members of the SNP, speaking to independence supporters who are very excited about it. So if people can get along, make sure that they do so. Caledonia, Caledonia, sing along with me. Caledonia, Caledonia, chain of freedom set us free. Siobhan spoke with Judy, said back in the old country, they made a chain of humans despite the tyranny. Two million stood hand in hand across three countries to show the world that they wanted to be free. And I would encourage absolutely anyone who is a supporter of Scottish independence to try and get along.